In August 2006, the crew of the yacht making sailing out of the Vava Island group encountered what could only be described as an extraordinary rare phenomenon, the birth of an island. The crew witnessed the miracle of nature in which a new island was coming to life. This was what one of the crew members reported in his blog entry of that day. We left yesterday after some tedious checking out procedures and set sail for Fiji. After five miles we noticed brown, somewhat grainy streaks in the water. First we thought it might be an old oil dumping, but the streak became larger and more frequent after a while, and there were rock-like brownish things the size of fish floating in the sea, and the water was strangely green and lagoon-like too. Eventually it became more and more clear to us that this was from a volcanic eruption, and then we sailed into a vast many miles wide belt of densely packed volcanic rock. We were going by motor due to the lack of wind and within seconds making slowed down from 7 knots to 1 knot. We were so fascinated and busy taking pictures that we ploughed a couple of hundred meters into this surreal floating stone field, before we realised that we had to turn back. Just as we came out of the stone field and entered reasonably normal water, we noticed that there came no cooling water from the engine. After cleaning the water it started again. Without wind we could have been stuck in a sea of stone if the motor had failed. There are two active volcanoes south of Late Island. Since we didn't know which one had erupted in the extent of the eruption, we decided to anchor close by for the night. The sky darkened fast from the rain clouds, and we sailed leaving the stone sea onto darkness towards a perfect rainbow ahead. It was completely dark when we anchored close to land at 25 meters depth. In the morning we decided to head off. We did end up identifying the volcano as the one close to home reef, and we're going there now to get a closer look. We are two miles from it and we can see the volcano clearly. One mile in diameter and with four peaks and a central crater smoking with steam, and once in a while an outburst high in the sky with lava and ashes. I think we're the first ones out here so perhaps we could claim the island and name it. Alice the island didn't last very long. By the time scientists of London's Kingston University managed to get out of the area a few months later to see it for themselves, it was nearly completely washed away, leaving only the lingering scent of sulphur, a clue that magma was still cooling inside. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.